disinfect. This is Snowboard Review TV, supported by Peak Leaders Instructor Training Courses. So we're down here in Munich for ISPO. It's Europe's biggest ski and snowboard trade fair. And we're going to check out some of next year's big freeride boards and uh, show you some of our favorite picks. Designed for the deepest of PAL, the spray's 12 mm of taper, blunted shovel nose and zero camber profile with early rise nose to keep you from submarining even in the most epic conditions. The Atomic Banger returns for 2012 looking better than ever. With an upgraded low density pop and core and stylish multi-layered top sheet graphic, the Banger is set to sell like hotcakes. The most radical shape at ISPO was definitely the Float -a Lock with a short running length and tips with rocker profile and reverse side cut, the Float -a Lock is pushing design. Atomic promise it rides as good as it looks. Italian has extended the triple base technology into their board's tips and tails and introduced all mountain TBT to the enemy. Burton has replaced the supermodel and Malolo with the Barracuda, featuring a tapered shape and their flying V profile. Contract Snowboards has introduced their snake technology to a tapered powder shape in their new Yeti code. They don't mess around with short side cuts, yet he has a gargantuan 20 meter side cut. Serge Dupraz has been peddling his D1 shape for a while now. For 2012 the finish looks slicker and there are more widths for bigger footed riders. Endeavour's free ride beast, the next series, looks incredible thanks to Rory Dawes' Jack inspired graphics. We're still big fans of little known Euro brands, F2's Big Mountain Shred, with respect. The Flow Solitude gets a couple of changes for next season. Tyson Lee inserts under the bindings and flat sections in the side cut at the feet will help drive power through the feet, improving edge hold. We were also told the Solitude has a stiffer flex for next year. Not much change to the Billy Goat, but we really like the new graphic. Good Boards is a new brand from Germany focusing on long boards and free ride boards. We really like the Legends, which comes in three whopping sizes from 179 to 189. The lacquered veneer top sheet is pure quality. Bones was THE freeride brand of 2011. Next year the Hopcraft and the Mountain Twin are available as split boards. We're particularly excited about getting our hands on the new Proto Height from K2. A board where the Turbo Dream shape meets a super lively bamboo your core. The Libtech Birdman has the longest nose we've ever seen. It should be reserved for only the deepest of dumps. Fortunately, Andy's Muscle Capri base layer is optional. Matt Cummings' new board, the Lanina, replaces the Snow Mullet and the Muck Kink and features the all-new C1 Banana profile. C1 is camber in the tail and rocker in the nose for improved float and punch-out turns. My deck is freeride board development is on overdrive. The legend moves from camera to freeride camrock and the Megalite remains unchanged, except for a new liquor paint and a lucky inlaid clover. The Legacy upgrades from a 6000 grade base to an 8000 sintered and exchanges P-Tech sidewalls for stylish teak. Both the Platinum and Legacy get the all new Ultimate Traction Edges, a very mellow 5 bump take on Magna Traction. We really liked the new Nitro Slash graphic, but it reminded us of last year's Romanthem. And if you like Thundercats when you're a kid, you like the new Pantera graphic. The budding backcountry freestylers, Never Summer have split the SL. But for diehard backcountry splitters, it's all about the Summit series. Crypto joins the experience in Rosignol's Big Mountain lineup for 2012. The Crypto uses exactly the same shape but drops torsion box construction for a softer flex and has a 4.4 case into base instead of the experience's ballistic 7.5k. The powder snake joins the six stick to aid Salomon's quest to build the ultimate freestyle powder board. And the vocal coal gets a stunning new graphic and a race tune sibling. Finally, DCP's new board utilizes all of Nidecker's top materials and design work.